I know you ain't ready for rebel romance. I know I ain't saying what you want to hear. But I know I'm the man in the dam of the dance. And I'm here. And I ain't going back till you promise you come along. Baby, cause I'm your man. Do everything I can to release your love. Bring it back where it truly belongs. And every day you'll find that you can relax your mind. I'm your man. I'm even, baby, not till the end of your day. I am your man And I can see it's much quicker and easier For you to build your walls and stay inside Yeah, but again, if you listen You know what you're missing You know what I'm saying For all time you can hide I am your man How long Will these walls are waving lazy, yeah But too long And my floor is banned and wild But how long And my body is shaking it crazy When you know You just know what I knew Each day that you came along Now I'm here And I ain't going back Till you swear you come along When you promise you come along Whoa, whoa, baby Cause I'm your man Do everything I can can to release your love bring it back where it truly belongs and every day you'll find that you can relax your mind i'm your man i'm leaving maybe not till the end of your days i'm your man do everything i can to release your love bring it back where it truly belongs and every day you'll find that you can relax your mind i'm your man i'm leaving maybe not till the end, I am your man. Woo, baby, I'm your man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am, I am, I am your man. I am your man. Courage. You have no idea how much I wish I had the courage to just go belt something like that out in public. But, uh, I don't have it. I don't know anybody who does. Look, unless it's a dare, backed up with a promise of some amount of cash, I just don't see anybody having that courage anymore to do something like that. Since I was born in the last century, well, I know things aren't always like this. I can remember tales of a time when people would happily throw themselves out there to impress. You know to get the attention of one or two or more people whom they might want attention from. These days, no. Nope. Not ever. And it's not that I haven't heard people wish that somebody would do that for them before. I've listened to people, you know, wishing that somebody wouldn't mind throwing their shame and humility on the line for a chance to impress. Hmm, by and large, though, yeah, it doesn't happen. It really doesn't. Society is, a uh... Look, now that there are cameras everywhere and video being taken, and opinion or thought itself can be swayed so easily by mysteriously anonymous posters online or even efforts from an entire country, <clears throat> Russia, it's just so much easier to bet that whatever you do, if it's out of the ordinary, there's going to be some embarrassment factor that goes along with it and that this embarrassment is going to be something that follows you around for a while. So, of course, people don't go out and do things like this so readily anymore. Like, we're already taking a chance of being humiliated with the object of our intentions laughing at us, and now it's become so commonplace that the entire world is going to be joining in. Is it really so difficult to see why people would be so damn private these days? <laughs> it's really a pain in the ass, honestly. Well, that's just how it is now. While that one touch of singing might have been considered a sweet tribute to a single person in mind before, these days that single person you had in mind is surrounded by virtual people who are going to be quicker than lightning in offering up their own opinion on whatever your good intention might have been. Color it up in a way that neither you nor the person you had in mind to pay in tribute to could even imagine. <laughs> and since they are there virtually, they're going to be hearing about such things that you did secondhand, and be able to dissect something they weren't even around to witness, and draw their own conclusions. 
as well as pass those conclusions on to the public that the person of mind associates with regularly snowballing your entire act and making it into something negative, where originally, as you well know, it was not intended to be in the slightest bit. <laughs> now, why the hell would they go out of their way to do that? Jealousy? Maybe. Protection? Possibly. An inherent need to be involved in something that had nothing to do with them, wasn't intended for them, or directed towards them in the slightest? Oh, obviously. <laughs> Boredom? Well, we all get bored. It's got to be one of those things. I've lived for a while, in my time of living as an adult, and, well, even as a child, humans really, really think that they need to get their two cents into things. People feel like everyone needs to hear about their thoughts, their opinions, and don't pretend you don't know that already. Crap. <laughs> it's what opinion columns in the paper have been about for, well, ever. Some people take time to back things up with evidence. Facts. Essays, if you will, on matters. But don't dismiss the fact that an essay, largely, is written to disprove something that has already been established as the normal. <sighs> Increasingly, I see more essay and rebuttal to things than I do agreement. And when that rebuttal essay is presented virtually, it means it gets buried almost immediately in the World Wide Web. And because of those rebuttals, while overlooking the fact that they've just altered the view of something and can now slink back into the hole of wherever the hell they come from in the first place, become increasingly desperate to have their brilliant observations known to a wider audience. Hopefully one that will acknowledge their forward thinking and follow them throughout life. These days, that's not unnatural. We all do it. We all do it now. Yeah, it's the basis behind message boards, texts between family members, chat rooms, even work relationships. Hell, half of marriages dissolve these days because neither party can stand to let the other one have an idea about something without throwing their own bullshit into it. And I know. I understand. It's not all bullshit, of course. No. As humans, we are social animals, and we care. Absolutely. We care for and respect the ideas and viewpoints of those we love. Because in those things, listening to those things, coming to an understanding of those things, it allows us to grow closer in love between a couple. And that is a good thing, because the closer we come to an understanding of those things, the better chance we have to end up playing with their... things. <laughs> <sighs> now, if only the rest of the outside world could stop intruding upon our lives with their own discontent, we would generally be a lot happier together, right? But, since we are in the now... And forever moving forward, we just have to deal with developments as they arise. And hope to God that we and the individuals we care about closely can come to grips with reality as it becomes such a thing. Oh, this PC culture we live in will be the death of us, you know. We're so accustomed to having our meanings and feelings hidden behind happy, non-offensive words that we are losing the basis of honesty itself. And as we lose the basis of honesty of true intention, we are, as well, losing our sense of self, in a way. And as we continue in this manner, we are losing courage. How much have we lost, I wonder, when it is the truth that few of us have the courage to even sing a song to someone without request anymore? I do wonder. And now, so to you.